to start a journey which I'm hoping the people on the other end of this camera are going to start to begin start with a simple item one that's maybe like available to you every day and it's called a mirror I hope when we've completed this journey into what I think you're going to find fascinating and amazing it's going to bring it right back to where you started it's going to come back to the man or the woman looking back in that mirror I believe in my heart there has never ever been a more dangerous and more frightening time for people to be alive for people to be bringing up children and as a result people have begin have begun to think thoughts and explore different realms and different experiences than they would never ever have done before and i'm hoping with all my heart that you were going to be one of them i hope that you are alarmed at the situation you were in because it certainly is alarming i hope that you're afraid for your family and for your children because you have every right to be afraid and i am afraid for me children, for me grandchildren. Between us all, I hope with all my heart and every prayer I can muster that we are going to come together as men and as women, that we are going to look at that face in the mirror and we're going to realise that there is no magic answer, that there is no agracadabra, there is no trite solution. The solution is whatever is looking back at yourself in that mirror because the answer lies with you and I it is you and I by our actions or our inactions have brought about this situation because of history and I like to believe I've looked at a lot of it for a long time teaches us anything it tells us that the most prolific killer of men and women on planet earth for as far back in history as you wish to go is government it is the most nefarious it is the most dangerous it is the most tyrannical and is the it is the most prolific killer of men and women and to believe otherwise is to be an error and that error partially has been what's led us to where we are today we are confronted with a tyranny that is out of control we are confronted with every realm that we've set up over over maybe two centuries that were there for our benefit have been weaponized and turned against each and every one of us and i'm hoping by the end of this video you're going to get to realize in some respects that the answer is you the answer is i not somebody else for so the purpose like what why i'm sitting here and i know a lot of people have done videos and podcasts and whatever and this is what my al nan used to say she used to say, you put your two penneth worth in. So for the record, this is my two penneth worth. I'm 62 years of age. I've been a pain in the backside to, I think, every <laughs> authority as I could go back. Because I always asked questions. I was always, I wanted to know things that people would never tell me. And until they told me, I, I, I turned me back. And thank goodness for it, it's led me in good stead all my life if the government ever told me to turn left i knew straight away the right thing to do was to turn right and you do well to do the same at this juncture because this government is telling you to do things that you are going to wish you never ever listened to who are these people how did we come to this situation where we can turn on a screen in a box in the living room and have men and women who we have no conception of who they are can command you that you can you cannot go out of your home you must take deadly poisons you must damage your own children and we accept that is a dangerous dangerous situation and many in this situation have turned and they've looked to common law they've looked to they've looked for solutions and for situations and into it's into that realm and into that bucket that i'm going to place my two penneth worth in we're at that juncture now where you need wisdom and you need knowledge and you need to know how to operate in this dangerous situation and the law that people are searching for is not out there somewhere 
it is not something created by man it is created by your creator whoever you deem that creator to be he is bigger than you and he is bigger than i and i'd like to ask one question uh, or for you to ask yourself at this juncture when you look in that mirror what do you see how do you describe what's looking back at you you have been tricked and it's time to awaken and see the trick for what it is and become what your mum and dad hoped you'd become and what god almighty created you to become that was a man and a woman awake in charge governing yourself and doing right by every man so also what was the trick well bear in mind that your mum and dad gave birth to a to a man or a woman okay so what is a man or a woman a man or a woman is not recognized at all within the legal system a man and a woman was put here to govern he was to be in charge he was to take care of the planet he was to take care of himself he was to take care of his fellow man and that law came from almighty god it is sovereign it cannot be surmounted it cannot be usurped by any code statutes any man-made law whatsoever it is null and void when it comes up against god's law our creator your creator and my creator has given us laws we move by them day and night whether we believe so or whether we don't is irrelevant like the law of gravity you can believe it or disbelieve it you ain't gonna float when you get out of bed these laws are in operation they are spiritual laws they are three-dimensional laws and any law that man creates is supposed to be according to the divine law for man's benefit so how did a man or a woman end up in such a miserable dog-like condition because we never confronted reality we never we never accepted the fact that we are created in the image of almighty god that we are here to to be in control and to be in charge and we never accepted that mantle we never accepted that title and we never accepted or exercised that responsibility we just dived into this river that was set for us called the legal system we sat in front of a tv and we were educated in it cannot remember a time in the whole when i was growing up when there wasn't a long running uh, program teaching me about the legal system about the magistrates court about the debt collectors still the same now i watch tv but i know there's the there's debt collectors there's uh, running around in cars and kicking people's doors down we're living in a gestapo like society and for some reason we have been lulled into accepting that this is just the way it is this is just how it's got to be and that is a that is a truth if if men and women do not take control because the people who, who have stepped into the positions in which we should have occupied do not have your best interest at heart they have hijacked your psyche they have they, they, they have set off bombs within your mind and within your, your personality that are affecting you every day even to now where maybe many of you may be walking around with a mask you may be sitting at home you may be frightened of bangs on the door you may be can i go out next week am i going to lose my job am i going to because you put all of these things that are so critical to life outside of your control outside of your power we put them out to other agencies and to other people where really it was not a wise thing to do it was not beneficial and it has caused real harm to date the thousands and thousands of people that are suffering that, that will never be the same again through believing the governments through believing proven statistical biggest genocide organizations on planet earth and yet people queue up because they are listening and they are believing that these people have their best interests at heart we believe that they are like us that they think and speak like us and they believe what we do that is a mistake it is not true they don't believe anything we believe they believe that we are cattle they believe that if we cannot see through this deception then we deserve everything that they can just dish out to us willy-nilly they call us a herd they're looking for herd immunity and the question you need to ask is who are these people 
how did I get into a situation where pieces of paper can come through a letterbox and completely take over a man or a woman's life? Well, the answer is looking straight back in at you again in the mirror. You did it. Nobody did it other than yourself. This is like one of the hardest things for people to take on board is that you and I are the products and we're at the mercy of our own ignorance. We didn't spend our days like these people did and like the books did of old telling us to get wise, to look for wisdom, to look for knowledge, to look for understanding. When was the last time ever any of us ever took part in anything that took any real effort? For many of us, not at all. But for some people, that's all they pursue. They pursue wisdom, they pursue knowledge. And sadly, a lot of these people, you've heard the saying, the devil makes work for idle hands. These people are professional learners. They're never gonna pick up a shovel. They're never gonna go and dig a hole. That's for you and I, that's for the animals, that, that, that's for the farm workers, that, that, that's for the mules, that's for the herd. These people believe they have a divine right to rule your life. I just ask you the question, do they? Do they rule your life or do you? So you better go back to the mirror and appreciate one truth and one reality that you are the only image of Almighty God that walks on this planet. It's you again. So what are you going to do? What are you going to create? What sort of a day are you going to create? You're going to look at that piece of paper and you're going to say, OK, well, I'm a man. I was created by Almighty God with internal, with rights that no man can interfere with, no man can touch. They are inalienable rights. You were born with them. You possess them. You don't have to look for them. You don't have to go and beg for them. You don't have to ask a government for them. They're yours. But the problem is you can have whatever rights that you you can have them inscribed you can have them tattooed on your arm if you don't invoke them and you don't move in them and you don't appropriate them and you don't enliven them then you ain't got them if you're not living them you ain't got them if you can't voice them you ain't got them if you don't if you if you if you can't defend yourself with them rights then as far as they're concerned you ain't got any what you've got is privileges granted to you by a government that hates your flame and guts. you cattle to them. You are not a man to them. They don't speak to you as a man. They don't treat you as a man. They don't treat you as a woman. They don't speak to you as a woman. It's a completely alien society geared to doing harm and loss to men and women. You are created in the, in the image of Almighty God and you are supposed to be self-governing. You are supposed to create governments we created them for the benefit of man. They were so we could have peace, so we could have order, so we could so we could go about our business in safety. That was why man created governments. So at the top of the pyramid, you have Almighty God, your Creator, the one who instilled within you the law that is above every law. It is God's law. It's the divine law. It 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 you do do unto others as you do unto yourself. Is you cause no harm to your fellow man ever there is no there is no exemption that you as a living breathing man created in god's image must never cause harm to any other man or woman created in god's image because you are you are causing harm to the image of almighty god and he doesn't like it the same as i wouldn't like it if somebody was causing harm to one of my children well he doesn't like it and to fix that in your foremost will stand you in good stead when you try and put the next pieces and the next pieces together because man created governments for our benefit governments then created judiciary they created a system of law by those who did not obey the divine law could be brought back and be re-established and we can have order and peace and also that there was punishment everything was created for man's benefit so how did we get to, how, how can people through a legal system be so terrorized and so frightened to the point where they'll commit suicide? How did that take place? So something has gone wrong somewhere. 
and it certainly has and we come back to the mirror it came it comes right back to what is looking back at you and i in the mirror and what it, what is looking back is supposed to be a man or a woman but we don't act we do not govern we do not look after our own affairs we've forgotten how to say no we have forgotten what is right and wrong but yet that law still operates and you can wake up and you can wise up and you can look at that mirror and you can say that is a man and, and a woman i am not under any contact i am not here as a servant to any other man or any other woman i am here to do what is right by every man and by every woman that i must do no wrong to no man and i'm fulfilling the divine law there is no law higher i must love my brother as myself i must be honest and truthful and above all i must instruct and be an example against those principles against those those traits there is no law 